oil. Uh, because, you know, it could be like the Battlegrounds Battle Royal. Uh, or if I want to do like a elimination, like tag team thing and have it be the Battlegrounds tag team battle with red versus blue or something. I'm still making up my mind uh, about that. And what I'm going to do, I mean, I have some ideas uh, that'll unfold and uh, before the pay-per-view actually comes to be seen later, quite possibly. But here's the thing, though. Leading into my uh, next point is I did a thing a few times now where you guys could get the pay-per-view early. And I would go ahead and I'd just do the pay-per-view that evening. Uh, like whenever I got back home from uh, doing the errands, picking up my wife, all that type of stuff. I'd come home, fire it up. That, that's true, Johnny Chase. We got some time until the big uh, uh, Royal Rumble. That's uh, quite a while away, so that's just it. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. But getting to my point is I did a thing where somebody donated some bits and basically you actually paid for the pay-per-view. It was actually a pay-per-view. Uh, you did it early. I did it early. And the, on the last one, on Million Dollars, uh, you get they Johnny, uh, uh, and Short Bus, I think. Did you put bits down? I don't remember. Uh, put a couple bits down, but what I said is that if I could accumulate up to a thousand bits before the end of the show, uh, I'd do the pay-per-view early. Now, uh, unfortunately, what happened is uh, Shiro, if you uh, saw it when he came in, up there up top, got the uh, got the highest bit thing with 1,200 bits, which got the pay-per-view early right there. But then Silent Hero came in, uh, came and donated another 1,000 bits when he didn't have to. So... So I was thinking maybe I shouldn't do that because what I initially planned on when Shiro did that was upping the fucking price to 2,000 bits, you know, because, you know, that will show you because I have plans, I have ideas what I want to do before the pay-per-view, but I can't, don't have time to do before it, <laughs> yes, Mini Makoto, get on it, Silent and Shiro, uh, um, uh, which if they don't happen, it's no big deal. It, you know, it's like I want to do like pre like set up hype things uh, like on Twitter or whatnot, which if I do it early, I don't have time to do. But the thing is, you all know what's coming, so to speak. So it's kind of a give and a take. You guys get it early. You get to see the action early, but I don't get to hype it, but you get to see it. It gets out there. So it's a back and forth, which is why it's a bit thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead, since in, I'm not going to make the bit price go up, uh, like I said, I, uh, like I said, I think I said anyway, or I thought about doing is instead, since they paid double last time, thanks to Shiro and Silent Hero, uh, I'm just going to keep it a thousand bits. I'm just gonna keep it one thousand bits. Basically start over. If you wanna see the pay-per-view early and actually want it to be a pay-per-view before the end of the show, a total of one thousand bits needs to be achieved. Don't care how or when it happens, but before uh wink link waves goodbye. If a thousand bits have been achieved, we'll get the pay-per-view this evening. Plain and simple. 
But yeah, because I know short bus and other people come in here, they put down 5, 10, 15 bits, whatever. So, if it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. No big deal. But yes, here's the thing. Uh, also, I don't know what the hell happened last night on that game day, but Xbox Live was screwed up as well. And that was very disheartening. <laughs> Johnny tweets silent and zero. Uh, apparently, Minnie Makoto wants to see the pay per view, damn it. <laughs> nice to have such a big fan, Minnie Makoto, and wants to see this shit, see what happens. It's, it's, it's nice to know. It's nice to... So, all right. Um, what do you say we switch it over to the gameplay? Because I ain't got much else uh, to go on about, really. I mean, we got the uh, Red vs. Blue Battlegrounds coming up. Uh, and that could be either later tonight or later this week. It all depends on what happens. So there we go, we can get started. Uh, and also today, uh, we have some more people being debuted as well. Uh, as you might have saw, the, there was a wrestler back there that you never seen before. A uh, female wrestler going to be going up against Kanan as well as some others. And uh, there was also a uh, one or two promos that I couldn't get rid of. Uh, one of them being from the champ himself, Woody Man. So be on the lookout for that. And then there was a another promo that I added uh, that needed to happen uh, to help sure up something else because of something else happened. I won't get into the specifics, but uh, when you see it, you see it. Uh, so... My phone needs to shut the hell up here. I swear. Yes, I know about... There. Now shut up. So, what do you say we go ahead and we... Start this pay-per-view go-home show. Well, no, this ain't the pay-per-view show. What's wrong with me? I can talk. Let's start this show off right and get into the action. What do you say here, people? Minnie Makoto, Johnny Chase, you're the only ones here. Well, Word Man might still be here, but either way. Let's go! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Game Attack Takedown. Today, we have some big action coming your way. We have some new talent still being debuted. We have a whole roster coming your way, male, female. It's all happening. And, of course, we got some big matches coming your way as well. We got even a handicap revenge match. At some point, we are also going to hear from the G1 champ himself, Woody Man, going to come out here uh, and talk to all of his wonderful fans right here on the Game Attack Takedown. Also, at some point, we're going to find out who's going to be in charge of the red and blue teams, what kind of matches we may or may not have going into the big red versus blue battlegrounds right here, right now, live on the G1 Wrestling Universe Game Attack Takedown. 
Hope you're all ready for some big action coming your way. Hope you all are ready. It's going to be crazy. And it's all going to be live right now. I can't wait. I needed to turn down my TV. All right, make sure all of the things are in the right place, the right order. All right, yep, yeah, main event is still correct. button load this up pick my phone up here and yes a majority of that intro that you just saw that I just did was scripted there was a bit on the fly because I know I haven't been doing those intro sequences at all because well I don't really know how long they'll run or whatever so it's hard to ad-lib so I scripted something and ad-libbed around it uh, to add or take away time. Hopefully, uh, that was good. Like you would see on an actual show. Which is what I'm going for here. We just started, champ. We just started. You got here right in time. Uh, you missed the intro, uh, so you're all good. Get ready to start up the first match. So you are just in time for the go home show of Game Attack Takedown. And hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Attack Takedown Go Home Show for the upcoming Red vs. Blue Battlegrounds. Days away now, as we still have some action coming your way here tonight. Big action, big matches, as we are starting things off with the G1 Ladies Division coming out here. Kanan. Making her way down to the ring. She's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with a new face here in the ladies division. We've had a lot of that recently. We've had a lot of new talent flowing into the G1 Wrestling Universe. Ladies division, men's division. So it'll be interesting uh, what we're going to see here. What we've got in store. For this new uh, opponent, Kanan has to face. As you know, Kanan, a big powerhouse in the women's division. Former G1 women's champ as well. She 
is in the ring. We've got to wait and see exactly who the big debut superstar is going to be. You see the smirk on her face is real. She is ready to see what challenge awaits her here. And oh my. There you see she's ready. She is pumped. And oh my goodness. It is Reset Patricia coming out here. Okay, so well then uh, she has come out here. She is all uh, quite a bit suited up. Oh, she looks really familiar. I'm not sure if we've actually seen her in the ring. I might have seen her somewhere else before. I'm not sure. We have so many superstars at this point in the G1 Wrestling Universe. It's hard to tell. So many big names. So many big egos going back and forth. And now there is the bell. And we're off. And oh my goodness. There's a bit of a size difference here. Kanan. Oh, for once, looking to be at a bit of a disadvantage. And oh my goodness, up, up to the top already, starting things off big here. And oh my goodness, flying off that top rope. And now, uh oh, rising knee, Patricia set back down on the map from Kanan. But no, oh, ho, 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 ho. face first right into her shoulder there. And oh, an elbow right to the back. Patricia, oh, doing everything she can to be a dominating force here in this match against Kanan. And that is not a bad strategy as Kanan definitely has the power and the skills inside the ring. And oh, there's an elbow to, to the gut. And whoa, flipping her right into that corner. You gotta say, for somebody that tall, that big, there is quite a bit of agility to Patricia here. Once again, grabbing a hold of Kane and twisting that arm. But whoop, Kanan now. Oh, a little bit of agility herself. And now Kanan being thrown up against the rope and oh! Connects big time. Kanan is down and is getting stomped on. Oh, and there's another elbow to the back. Now Kanan up and over the top rope. And oh, finished off the rest of the way. Thanks to a spear and out comes Patricia. And oh, Kanan fighting back, back on her feet on the outside here. But no, we got a reversal there from Patricia. As these two fight it out on the outside, and oh my god, a DDT! Kanan is down, and the count continues. As these two are still fighting it out, Patricia stomping into the ground, Kanan at this point. Oh my goodness. And whoa, reversal, there we go. Kanan quickly trying to get back inside the ring. At the count of six now. Now Kanan pumped up and here comes Patricia back in the ring and whoa uh -oh, into the corner Kanan goes oh stomped and again oh my goodness Patricia backing up needs a little space uh oh not good not good here she comes boom right in the noggin and uh oh Patricia going up top now not looking good for Kanan here oh full body grabs that leg this could be it Two doesn't happen though. Kanan still able to get that shoulder up. And that, whoa, pushing her away, Kanan. Now trying to uh, get things back in her favor in this match. And oh, spin kick. Uh oh, off the ropes. And oh, taken down. Grabbing a hold of that leg. Uh oh. Two, only a two count. Patricia able to power out of that. Is now Patricia trying her best 
to get back up using the ring ropes. Uh-oh, not looking good, though. Kanan setting up for something big here. Oh, has her. Uh-oh, Kelly Bob incoming. Picks her up. Boom! Down hard goes Patricia. Hooks the leg. we got to cover. This could be it for reset Patricia. Oh, managing to get the shoulder up. And Kelly can't quite believe it. And now, Kelly, oh, knocking her down, taking down Patricia down a peg. And oh, my goodness, connecting with that kick. Kanan not done yet. And oh, again, uh-oh, bouncing off those ropes. And boom, connects. Down she goes again. This is it. This has got to be it. Two. No. Still able to kick out Patricia hanging in there with the best of them at this point it's now Kanan oh dragged down by her arm face first into the mat gotta say this will be a big win for Patricia uh, if she's able to uh, use this size advantage to come out on top a big powerhouse like Kanan there she is boom nails her again Is now Patricia on the hunt for a victory. Oh, no, we get a reversal, though. And, oh, my God, the power. Kanan, holy cow. But she's not done. Are we going to see another K-bomb, another Kelly bomb? Yes, positioned her. Oh, my God, she's up. And boom, down goes Patricia once again. Rolling her over. Hooks the leg. Here we go. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Kanan now getting frustrated. My goodness. And now, uh-oh. Where are you going, Kanan? Uh-oh, she's climbing to the top rope. And, oh, no, she misses from the top, giving Patricia time to quickly get up and get back in control of this match now. Oh, but no, Kanan, the power, the reversal. It's real. And oh, again, uh-oh, off the rope, boom, hits the mark, grabs the leg. One, two, three, that does it. There is your winner, Kanan. Now we just take a moment, sit back and relax and take a look at some of these amazing replays. Holy cow. Oh, yes. There is your winner. Oh, my goodness, dog. Really? Hush! Hush now. Come on. Come on.
Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. There was a person at the door. That's why I left. Dogs went crazy because somebody was here with a package. Sorry, that's why there was a dog barking. There was an intruder being protected. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, they're gone. Calm down. Man. Okay. Now then. All right, I think uh, we may need a minor show. No, it's just uh, we have so many people and also a minor show. I mean, I got two shows here now. Men and women, I also got tag teams. So, yeah, we don't get to see everybody as much as we want and stuff but i try and get everybody into matches when they can be useful in some way so if at some point you know this gets big enough maybe we do need a minor show maybe that that can be a thing and i can expand to a minor show you know a, another day oh my goodness really I swear, the dogs are not going to shut up about the fact that there was somebody here. That is going to be super annoying. But anyway, I've got to try and do a show here. So let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here once again, and we have some more G1 Wrestling Ladies action coming your way. 
as we got somebody that hasn't really been seen here like all that much coming your way member of the storm family as you can see uh the tag team raging store the storm there around her accompanying her out to the ring Sorry, I gotta go get a thing for my son. He's thirsty, so, oh my goodness. All the things that are happening today with this, it's insane. I'll be right back. Okay, get back into this in three, two, one. And now G1 Hyper Combo just pushing down Taylor Storm in control of things here. And off the rope she missed. Is now Storm fighting back and oh, grabbing a hold of her. Face first, choking her. Now, oh my goodness. Storm here, uh-oh. And oh my goodness. And there you see her brothers, the Storm family at ringside. And oh, hits the mark, grabs the leg. Two. Oh my goodness. And Storm can't quite believe it. And now again to the second rope going to wait for her victim to get up. Hyper Combo is up and whoa, my goodness, down she goes. And Storm having a nice firm control hold of this match here. Going to go ahead and stomp away. Hyper Combo, no, fighting back, dragging her down. 
via the arm right to the mat. Storm trying to get back up. And, oh, nope, reversal. Now Hyper Combo is in control. Vicky in control of this match here. And face first into the mat goes Storm. Oh, here we go. Fighting good comeback here from Hyper Combo. Nails her. And now going to try and rip the head off, this, off of uh, Taylor Storm here. And, oh, man. And now Hyper Combo in control here, getting hyped up in the corner. And, oh, stomping her right back into the ground. Hyper Combo in control here. And off the ropes goes Storm. Oh, big uppercut. Oh no, we got a reversal from Storm. Storm fighting back after that onslaught. I'm gonna say things, uh, if, even after all of that, Taylor Storm not staying down. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, not looking good. And oh, man. There you see her brothers. Storm Brothers by ringside here. Cheering her on as we get a cover. Two, but no, a kick out. Now Storm getting frustrated here. As it looks like Hyper Combo is being quite resilient. And uh-oh, off the rope. Boom, missing her mark. Hyper Combo is back up. Back in the swing of things, uh-oh, 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 and down, back in control of Storm now. And oh my goodness, just a slap. And now Storm up on her shoulders with Hyper Combo. Oh man, devastating move there. But nope, Hyper Combo tripping her up. Gonna go try for a quick cover. Two only this time. And oh, met with an elbow. And uh oh, not again. Again, here it comes. Storm again. Taking down Hyper Combo. And we got another cover. This could be it. No, oh, managing to kick out. And again, Storm just getting frustrated with the resiliency of Hyper Combo at this point. So now she's going to go out and climb to the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh, she's waiting. She's waiting on Hyper Combo to get up and oh, swatted away like an annoying fly. Hyper Combo now in control and oh, big splash there. And now Hyper Combo in control of things, waiting in the wings. Boom, got her. Off the ropes, holy cow, boom, taken down. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, not again. <laughs> this happened last time, this is not good. I guess I'm gonna have to change that move since it's gonna be doing that. Okay, back into it in three, two, one. Taylor Storm whipping quickly out of the ring. Hyper Combo right behind her as they chase each other down and Taylor Storm back into the ring. But now Hyper Combo in control and Storm is in the corner but fighting out with an elbow. Now Chops and punches and whoa winging her right over the shoulder storm in control and uh oh up hopping up to the top turnbuckle and boom hits the mark 
grabs the leg, two, three, that does it. And there is your victor, Taylor Storm, being cheered on by her family at ringside. What an incredible victory here for Storm. But again, some good offense from Hyper Combo. That big uppercut, but ultimately the high-flying antics of Taylor Storm managed to win the day here on the Game Attack takedown. And there is your victor, Taylor Storm. And that is only the second match. We have plenty more big matches coming your way. So be sure to stay tuned for more. So yeah, I apparently need to fix that match because I have a feeling if that would have fucking connected, she might have won that. But apparently, it, like a couple other things in uh, this game, might be a little glitched. And you gotta hate it when that happens, especially on something live like this. But, not a whole lot you can do about it. You know, except yell at 2K to fix your shit! But, welcome drummer. to do is wait for this to load and we can get on with the next match here which I'm sure everybody has been waiting for this okay everybody we are back here at the game attack takedown after some incredible ladies matches now we are in to some singles action one versus one and the first competitor we got is none other than short bus Eric coming out here with the always by his side, his co-pilot, his manager extraordinaire coming out. There he comes, right there he is. Minibus accompanying him to the ring, manager and all around guy that tells him what to do. He's gonna be taking on somebody very new but all too familiar here one wrestling universe debut match for him but as you can see 
Short bus, Eric is ready. All right, here he comes. Everybody who you, the man you have been waiting, ready for, it is the champ coming out here. Going to be going one-on-one -on -one with Short Bus Eric. Making his in-ring G1 Wrestling Universe debut and going up against one of the more wild ones, Short Bus Eric. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here in this match. Luckily, I'm sure Short Bus with Minibus by his side might be able to not worry about whatever the champ has in store for him in his debut match. Hey, so you see uh, Short Bus is ready. He's not too worried. Whereas the champ, he is ready to go. And now, uh-oh. Whoa, hip toss, takedown. Short Bus Eric in control here. Now the champ getting up. Oh, big right hand right to the face, but comeback time here. Now the champ, uh-oh. Grabbing hold of short bus. Holy cow, taking him down right there. But short bus firing back with the clothesline. Big one taking him down. And oh, gut shot coming, firing right back at you from DeChamp. And whoa, Hurricane Rana on short bus Eric. And now, uh oh. Oh, has a hold of that arm. And now, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Short Buzz Eric getting out of it. Oh, punching him. Oh, my goodness. Punch right to the face, getting out of that. And now the champ off the ropes. And, oh, taken down, face first. Down he goes. And now a knee right to the back from Short Buzz Eric here. Uh-oh, going to the outside. Uh-oh, going to wait for the champ to get back up. And now over. Boom, catches him. Taking him down. And the, uh oh, drop fist, boom, right into the face. And oh, big headbutt from the big bald head of Short Bus Eric. And now, uh oh, uh oh, bus stop time from Short Bus Eric. As you can see, Minibus out there watching and approving of what he sees as the champ tries to get back up. And oh, Right to the back end. Short bus. Oh, taken down to champ again. And now, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, taking things to the outside. Here we go on the outside. Oh, a reversal from the champ on the outside. Oh, the champ fighting back, firing away with those right hands here on the outside. Taking down short bus, Eric, but short bus. Tripping him up, back on his feet. Now Short Buzz back in control. Uh oh, uh oh. And whoa, my goodness. Whipping the champ around on the outside. As the count continues to go up, so Short Buzz Eric bringing the champ back inside with the help of an elbow right to the head. And now Short Buzz Eric back in the ring. And now, uh oh. Short bus showstopper time. And boom, down he goes. That might be it for the champ. But it doesn't look like short bus is done as he stomps and elbows the champ into oblivion. But uh oh, the champ fighting back. But no, some punches to the gut, stopping the champ in his tracks. And now short bus Eric. Oh my goodness. Boom, power bomb in the middle, shoulders down. Two. No, flips him over into the Boston Crab now. Will the champ tap out in the middle of the ring? Will he be able to get out? Will he fight his way out? Will he tap? What is going to happen here? Uh oh, uh oh, he got, got the leg and he's out. 
but the damage is done. The champ is out now. And uh-oh, uh-oh, bus stop time. Down he goes. Short bus maintaining control here, taking down the champ, but he is not done. And now, uh-oh, the champ firing back, clothesline, taking him down. The champ trying to make a comeback here. Grabbing hold of short bus, hoist it, oh, block! Boom, reversed. Short bus maintaining control here. But no, oh, an uppercut. The champ fighting back with everything he's worth. But short bus with an uppercut of his own and boom, bust up time again from short bus Eric and whoa no the champ's still in this fight uh oh champ uh oh uh oh off the ropes boom oh short bus got the rough end of that and now the champ is pumped and up on the ropes psyching himself up trying to psych the fans up as he's now stomping on short bus Eric uh-oh, what are we going to see here? Champ, the champ, got him. Oh, up on his shoulders. Boom, down he goes. He hooks the leg Two. no. Short Buzz able to kick out at two. But it looks like the champ isn't done yet. And oh, taking him down. Off the ropes he goes. And again, the champ with the big comeback, swinging a miss from Short Buzz. And boom, down he goes again in the middle of the ring. Not looking good for short bus here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to get another one from the champ. Another fist to the face from the champ. Boom. Now an elbow to the knee. It's going to try and take out the legs of short bus, Eric. But, oh, all he gets is a foot to the face. And Short Bus is back up in control, but no, we got a reverse hoisting. Short Bus Eric over him and now in control here. What are we gonna see next? The champ has Short Bus. Oh my God, his own move. Oh, the bus got hit with his own move. He's busted open. Oh, very nearly a three count. There you see the champ arguing with the ref there. That was very nearly a three count. But Short Bus busted open after being hit with his own move. There, the seat, taking a seat on the Short Bus. Holy cow. But now the champ in control here. And now up and, oh, he's caught him. He caught him on his shoulders. And boom, down he goes. Short bus is down. Is he out? We got the cover. One, two, three. Oh, no. Oh, again, a very, very near fall. 2.9 for sure. So now the champ going all the way up to the top. But no, short bus is up. He catches him. Oh, my God, a choke slam. He catches him. The champ is down. Now Short Bus, oh no, refuted the stunner. Short Bus taken down again. Gonna try and roll him up with that leg too, but no, only a two count. Short Bus is back up. Incredible debut match here for the champ so far. Uh oh. Oh, nope. Short Bus getting out of it. Does not want to take any more shots to the head. He's still bleeding. And oh, there's an uppercut. Short Bus. Fighting back and now into the corner. He is thrown by the, the champ. And uh oh, uh oh, on the top rope he goes on that top turnbuckle. Uh oh, being set up here. Not looking good for Short Bus. Off the top rope with the champ. Short Bus. Oh, down. And we got to cover again. But no, quick kick out. Spur of adrenaline there from Short Bus. As we see, the champ is a little bit exacerbated from everything he's been put through and everything he has done to Short Bus at this point. But no Short Bus fighting back. Oh. 
apparently he has found the strength and now bust out time. And he is still in it to win it. Short bus is champ, the champ tries to get back up, but here comes short bus. Short bus Eric now in control off the ropes and oh, miss is the mark. This will allow Champ to try and get back in the swing of things. Uh-oh, he's got him. He's got him. Oh, he's down again. Uh-oh, the Champ. Uh-oh, another fist to the face from the Champ. And now, oh man. Oh, he catches it. Oh, a flip kick. Now a big right hand punch and up and over to the outside. Short Blush bleeding profusely over the top rope, but no, swatted away. Short Bus not looking good. Profusely bleeding from the head and boom, down goes Short Bus. He is covered. Oh no, one, two, Three, that does it. The champ is the victor here. And Minibus can't believe it. The champ with the victory after the onslaught. <laughs> he was put through. Holy cow. Take a look at some of these replays here. Amazing debut match. But there is your victor, the champ, coming out with the victory on his debut match here on the G1 Wrestling Universe. Can't wait to see exactly what is next. No, champ, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but still, that's pretty funny. Oh, my God, I can't believe. Uh, but then again, most people do win their debut matches. That is a uh, thing that, that happens. Unless they're put up against Barrel Dragon. For some reason, Barrel Dragon just dominates people. <laughs>
So yeah, if you're wondering why it's taking a minute, it's because I'm getting my son something to eat real quick. Oh, it's done. Hang on. Okay, there we go. And also, Mini Makoto, his name is The Champ, not The Champ. So, it's not him. All right, here we go. I sent the tweet out already. So let's see what happens next. And also, thanks for the bits. Well, it wasn't, I wasn't really coming, uh, to your defense, I was just pointing out the fact that it's the champ, not the champ. And thank you for the other one bit, the drummer. Much appreciated. So that's four bits down. Uh, so we need 990, 996 more now. To get the pay-per-view early only 996 more bits until we get to see the pay-per-view early uh, so now that's being said let's get on with the show okay everybody after that intense action-packed match we got another one coming your way right now as we got a handicap revenge match coming your way against that man right there as you know he has been entangled with two other superstars here and contesting over that title he has just swinging in the wind so now try to try and clear things up, we're going to have a two-on-one handicap match. We're going to have that man go one-on-two with both of the, I guess, number one contenders for the belt. This is a non-title match, by the way. But we can see, uh, especially after running his mouth, that was one thing, uh, saying he could take on both at the same time, but instead both at the same time, it's just going to be a handicap tag team match. Maybe he can put his money where his mouth is, as he will be taking on both. This man right there, Shiro, because as you may well know he cashed in and took his title away from drummer by cashing in that case so now obviously especially after attacks and back and forth bad blood being spilled everywhere 
he's going to take on that man right there, Shiro. And also, he's going to have to learn to get along with another person that is contending for the belt by the name of Xander. It will be put on a team to go two on one against the champion, Evil Craig. Hopefully, uh, his mouth isn't, you know, bigger than his fist can prove. Because that's the thing, Evil Craig likes to talk a lot of smack, saying he could take on both and beat them both with one hand tied behind his back and all this other type of stuff and about how he just hates them. But obviously, he won't have one hand tied behind his back. It'll be a handicap match, two on one. Shiro is out here, though. Now we just wait on Xander. And here he comes. There he is, coming in from the crowd. Xander he is here. Also a number one contender for that WGC belt. So two on one it's going to be. It'll be interesting to see what happens because of this match. Who is going to be going up against Evil Craig in the very near future, just days away from the red versus blue battlegrounds. That title will be up on the line regardless if Evil Craig wants it to be or not. But the question is, who is going to be facing him and get a chance to snatch that title back? Maybe we'll find out from this match right here right now all we need is the bell there you see evil craig giving absolutely no care and it looks like shira is going to be in first to get his hands on evil craig and right away he goes but oh taken down that is why he is the champ and uh oh 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 my goodness but shiro getting out of that quickly as it was put on and shiro not holding back now taking the fight directly to Evil Craig. Oh, right into the shoulder there. Now off the ropes, boom, hits the mark, big time. Evil Craig is down, but back up and uh-oh. Oh, a vicious DDT. So now Shiro gonna give his partner in this match, a quick tag in. Now two on one, boom, down he goes. And oh, scraping the eyes there. Evil Craig showing why he is so evil and so dastardly. He has Drummer up, boom, down he goes. Maybe it was a mistake for Drummer to come in now. As now Evil Craig has gotten a hold of this match and is starting to run away with it. Taking down Xander here. And uh oh, off the ropes and oh, big splash there. And oh, an uppercut, Xander finally up, fighting back, grabbing hold and hip toss, take down. So now Xander up to the second rope here. Gonna, uh oh, taunt, wait for his opponent to get up and boom. Blasted him right on the nose from that second rope. Evil Craig is down, and uh oh, now the arm. But now, uh oh, Evil Craig grabbing hold, and boom! And now up, and Evil Craig taking down Xander, back in control of this match here so far. And up he goes, boom, elbow to the gut and up and over the shoulders he goes. The back and forth is real between these two as now Xander has, oh but no, it's reversed.
And now up goes Xander into the corner. Uh-oh, backing up and oh, a big elbow. And oh my goodness, a kick to the side of the head. Xander is down and not doing very well in this match as he is put in the corner by Evil Craig. Not, not good, not good at all. Sent up to the top turnbuckle. And now he's up all the way to the top rope. Not good for Xander. It's a long way down he goes. Shiro trying to get in there, but oh, he's hanging on and he's down again. Oh, he's got the leg. And here comes Shiro to save the day. That's one of the benefits of a handicap match. Shiro obviously not happy with that, probably. Near fall, near loss, thanks to Xander being taken out there. But now Xander is up and in control of the match, thanks to the breakup by Shiro. And oh, man, big chop from Xander. Now in control of the match. Uh-oh, Xander. What are we going to see here? He has him. Oh, he's up. Oh, he curls him all the way over. Has a hold of that leg, but no. A little bit too close to the ropes. Got to break that up. So now Xander going for the tag, going to get the fresh man in. Shiro is here, going to try and put Tina Craig away. Uh, nope, not going to happen. And oh, man, hitting the mark there big time. Is now Shiro, uh-oh, nope, rising knee. Back to his feet, Evil Craig. Fighting back here, holy cow. Is now, oh, and now a knee from Shiro. Gonna go ahead and get Xander back in on the action here. Gonna go for a cover, but nope, deciding against that real quick. Shiro finally outside of the ring and a big kick. And now Xander is in the match, in control. And uh-oh, nope, punch to the gut from Evil Craig. And now, uh-oh, oh, man. And now Xander in the corner with Evil Craig. Nope, we got a reversal. And oh, a nice quick punch <laughs> from Shiro, even in the odds a little bit, but unfortunately still able to get a hold and looks like Xander being hung out to dry here. And oh no, a reversal, a knee to the top of the head. Xander in control, has a hold of Evil Craig, but no, pushed away. Not gonna happen. Is now Evil Craig in control of this match. Nice quick snap suplex there. And now up he goes. And whoa, Xander just winged all the way across the ring. Is now Evil Craig struggling, tired, trying to get back up. Xander still down. Oh, stomping on the face. And oh, a big brain chop. And now grabbing a hold of the leg, spinning him right down to his doom. Xander. Now, oh, uh-oh, big comeback from Xander here. And oh, taken down big time. And now, uh-oh, 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 oh, he's down, he's got him. He has a hold of him. Can he keep a hold of it? Will he tap? Will he tap? Oh, he's not letting go, but uh-oh, Evil Craig. Oh, powering out, oh, man. And now into the corner goes Xander, not looking good here. Evil Craig able to power out of that submission. And uh-oh, reversal, kicked away. Xander in control here. Up he goes, but no, we get a reversal. And boom, taken down big time. So now Evil Craig with a cover two and oh luckily able to kick out but Shiro was coming in to try and stop that mess from happening 
And oh, kick to the side there. And oh, knee to the gut. And oh my goodness, down he goes again. Xander with a comeback here. Going to go ahead and go over for a tag. Right thing to do there. And now here comes Shiro. Going to try for a quick pin. Two, but no, not going to happen. And now Shiro waiting, wanting Evil Craig to get up to administer the punishment that I'm sure he deserves at this point from taking, robbing him of his chance and oh oh Shiro uh oh suplex time from Shiro here we go not looking good for evil Craig here evil Craig is down tripped up evil Craig not out of this fight though he is bleeding Thanks to Shiro, who has definitely maintained control and into the corner he goes. But no, we got a reversal here. But no, Shiro fighting out of that corner and is in control again, putting him back into the corner where he belongs. But no, we got another reversal. Evil Craig not bowing out quietly. And oh, he's up and oh, power bomb into the corner. But no, a knee. Uh-oh, Shiro tuning things up, getting ready. He is up and SKO, he is down. He's got that leg, this is it for Evil Craig. Two, no my goodness. Oh my goodness. He kicked out, but here comes Xander. Fresh man in, gonna try for a cover, but only getting a two count. But now Evil Craig trying to battle back. Busted open, bleeding. Setting up Xander on the top rope. This wasn't good for him last time, but Xander fighting back, getting down out of that. He's up and blasted. And now back into the corner, back in enemy territory. Not a good play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, looks like we got some tag team. And, oh, 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 man. These two are just dismantling Evil Craig, the WGC champ here. And, oh, a big double chop. And, oh, a backhand from Evil Craig. And Evil Craig fighting back against Shiro. Oh, there's a suplex of his own. Shiro is down. Evil Craig is up. Things are not looking good. Evil Craig now up and nice suplex there. Is now Shiro. Oh. Up off the top rope, boom, he hits him. Incredible athletic maneuver from somebody big like Shiro. And oh, desperation, clothesline there. And oh, oh my goodness. Oh, repeated kicks right to the face from Evil Craig. Evil Craig not done yet and into the corner with Shiro now. And now, uh-oh, Shiro being set up on that top turnbuckle, not looking good for Shiro. Evil Craig, the WGC champ in control here, not good at all, going all the way to the top. Oh, no, Shiro fighting back, punches to the gut and shrugs him off the top. Shiro on the top turnbuckle. Oh, frog splash, catches the leg. Here we go, one, two. Three, that does it, Shiro with the victory. These two men taking down the WGC champ. Two on one. Take a look at some of these replays here.
Holy cow. These three men. There you see right here, just stomping on the face. There's the frog splash off the top that did it in. Oh man. And there it is. As Xander just waits for the three count. There are your victors. They both seem happy. They get the win. Yeah, they shake hands. Obviously, one of these men are going to be going for that title. Only time will tell here later this week on the red versus blue battleground. So stay tuned. Okay, and hello, George Hunter, welcome. Yeah, you can get on in on this action. Uh, if you stick around till the show is over, uh, if you have a character on Xbox One, I can download him and add him. And to answer your question, do you want game days, Woody? The pay-per-view is later in the week, maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Either way, uh, unless... I get a total of 1,000 bits. Uh, then you get the pay-per-view early. Like, as in this evening early. Like, whenever I get back home from doing the various things I do, which generally is like 6, 7 p.m. Uh, so, yeah. So, George Hunter, uh, thank you for the follow, first off. Uh, yeah, we can get you in on the action. Uh, so if you wait until the program is over, uh, just have your guy set up, ready to be downloaded. Give me some... Uh... Well, hey, Shiro, you weren't here for me to explain. I was initially going to make it 2,000 for this one. But since both you and, so since both you and Silent Hero donated last time, because of what I was going to do was double the cost, I decided to keep the cost the same since you both donated. Because again, and as as I will explain once again, and there we go, five bits from G1 Game Days and another bit. So that I think that's what now we are down to 980 bits. I need as long as it is 1,000 bits before the end of the program. Before you see Link. Waving sadly goodbye. Oh, there's 35. Drummer, thank you. See? We can get there. Because, believe it or not, I like hyping up uh, the pay-per-views. And, you know, there are several things that I can do on Twitter and with little hype videos and such so unfortunately if you guys pay if you guys pay to get it early I can't do that stuff I can't hype it up on Twitter with special little things and whatnot showing like matches and everything else or I can't do like little hype review things because I won't have time to edit videos even though I hate doing it I will do it for this because I actually like doing that so basically it's a trade-off either 
you can get it early and there's no hype except for what happens before or you don't pay you have to wait a day or three no I haven't downloaded it yet Woody uh, not yet so what it is What it is, uh, it's basically that trade-off. You guys get what you want early, I don't get to do what I would like to do. Yeah, you, you get the idea. But now I need to find my phone wherever I set it. So there we are. So technically I'm not being a greedy fuck. Yes, I know when Battleground is, trust me, I know. But hey, you guys, there are still plenty of uh, things left, still plenty of time. Still about things, and uh, if you didn't see the tweet, next is a promo. We get to hear a few words from our G1 champ, Woody Man. And thank you for five more bits. there Mr. Drummer so what do you say we get into this and up oh, oh, there it is fucking Shiro all right everybody welcome to the game attack takeover as now we got the G1 champ himself Woody man coming out here gonna have a microphone in hand got some words for all of his adoring fans, apparently. All right, here we go. And there you have it. Calling out Johnny Chase, and here he comes. These two have been going at it. They're back and forth for a little while. Be interesting to see why he has called him out. What is going to be said here. 
quickly making his way down to the ring. I wonder what these two are going to have for each other. What do they have to say now finally here face to face? Oh shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. God damn it. What the hell? My controller fucked up. What the hell is going on with my fucking controller? Hang on, I'll fix this. God damn it, what the fuck is going on with my controller? Resync it? Okay, hang on. Not a bad idea. Sorry, I don't know. This has never happened before. I don't... Sorry, I'm going to have to re redo the game. It fucking... I don't know what happened. It glitched. That's messed up. That has never happened before. Oh man, that's messed up. Has anybody else had that happen before where the controller just fucking just fucks itself?
Because, I mean, my batteries, they aren't low. Hello, son. I'm doing my wrestling show. What you doing? Oh, really? What are you watching? Just something? You don't know what it's called? Well, I, honey, I can't be shown. You can't tell me what it's called? No? Okay. We'll continue watching your show. Okay, well you go potty then. But yeah, I mean it seems to be I mean it seems to be fixed now. And no, I ain't got any controllers plugged in to the console. I mean I got a controller plugged in, but it's not connected. It's basically a I use a piece of shit controller uh, that doesn't work anymore just to charge my battery packs. It's just plugged in. It's not plugged into the console. It's plugged into like one of those USB things in the, in the, the wall. I don't know. But anyway, seriously, thank you, Shiro. Uh... For the thousand bits, now we get the pay-per-view this evening. So, everybody, be sure to say thank you to Shiro for allowing the uh, pay-per-view to be this evening. Say thank you, Shiro. We love you. Let him know he done a good. Don't say it on here. And thank you for 15 bits, drummer. Give <laughs> pity bits every now and then. There you go. <clears throat> well, there you go. There you can say thank you by stopping by Mr. Shiro 937 stream. Whenever he does, like, for example, he's doing Halo with Johnny Chase, stop by and basically do what Drummer is doing and uh, give him some ad bits, the pity bits as they are known around here. So there you go. All right, here we go. we got to start this over again, but... Get back into it. Maybe he says something different this time. Okay, we're here now with your G1 <coughs> Game Day Champion, Woody Man. He is here, microphone in hand. I guess has some words for all of his loyal fans out there in the G1 Wrestling Universe. So what do you say we lend him our ears and see what the champ has to say?
Oh dear, it looks like the champ has called out Johnny Chase. The force from the north. Our champ has called him out and here he comes. Apparently uh, the champ is tired of his antics. Wants to uh, give him a good old smacking. Maybe smack him around a little bit. It'll be uh, interesting to see what these two have to say finally here face to face. Maybe this won't come to blows, but you can never tell. As we have seen the antics of uh, the brawls and the getting in each other's faces, what do you say we have a listen to see what is going to be said here? There you have it. <clears throat> Some verbal barbs from both here. Whoops. I hit the wrong button there. Couldn't have come better right after. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> That's just too perfect. Oh my goodness gracious!
<laughs> You're my in an in an Silent hero. <laughs> well, thank you, silent hero. <laughs> uh, for one thousand bits <laughs> to, I guess, help pay. For the pay-per-view <laughs> early this evening. Uh, <laughs> I can't start super early. I would if I could, but I can't. So, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, let's get into the tag team action here finally fucking loaded <laughs> hello I'm working can't stay have bits by that's great silent hero I love you man Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are now getting into the tag team portion as now we got the death battlers coming out here Going to be having one last altercation, one last match before Red versus Blue Battlegrounds. So now, it has been told to me that uh, here, it has been planned that because of that tag handicap match earlier, it looks like we are going to get none other than a triple, an actual triple threat match for the WGC Championship at Red versus Blue Battlegrounds here just days from now. So everybody can look forward to that. For the WGC Champ, it's gonna be Drummer, Xander versus Shiro versus the Champ Evil Craig in a triple threat match. Holy cow, but now, speaking of championships, we got the G1 Nation Tag Team Champs coming out here. Game Attack Team. Sean, uh, oh shit, I got a phone call. God damn it. Hang on. Back into this in three, two, one. And there are your G1 tag champs finally inside the ring and rowdy and ready to go as ever, partying it up. Belts around their waist. And if you haven't been tuned in, you should know that them and the Death Battlers have quite the history here as they have been going back and forth. They even tried to take them out in the past. Game Attack Team have. As now, here we go. Everybody's in the ring. 
is now Boomstick saying he wants in, but Wiz looks like there's a little trouble in the ranks here. Wiz uh, sitting back. Gonna go ahead and let Boomstick go here. There's the bell and Sean Bolin. Oh, Flapjack right face first into the mat. Boomstick taken down. There's a knee to the back. Not a good way to start off this match. Probably should have let Wiz go in first. It's John Bolin now. They're on the side of the ring. And whoa, up and over, off the boom. Hit that nail right on the head. But Boomstick not out of the fight yet. Oh, just now clubbing away. And half of the tag champs here. Bolin now gonna go ahead and go for the tag. And in comes Wiz, the brains of the outfit, cybernetically enhanced, though not at an advantage or disadvantage, thankfully. But now, uh-oh, here comes Wiz, fighting back, twisting the leg, taking down Sean Bolin here, and now punch to the gut. And now, whoa, the Sean Bolin special spin kick and he's not done it's Sean super kick coming your way boom hit him dead center he is down Wiz it might be out here we got that hook of the leg over early two but okay there we go Wiz kicking out of that okay here we go Sean Bolin trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do where when and how as Wiz I guess sitting there thinking about life's problem. Oh my goodness. Double knuckled right on the head of Wiz there. Trying to squish that brain. And now, uh oh. There Wiz goes flying into the corner in the enemy territory. And oh, we got a reversal. And now Wiz. Uh oh. Oh, hit hard. Uh oh, Bulldog. Boom. And now here comes Wiz fighting back. Oh my goodness, DDT taking down Bolin. And Wiz waiting, catching his breath. There you see uh, Craig in the corner yelling at his partner. Now Wiz, here we go. In control of the match, grabbing hold. Uh-oh, dropping some knowledge on Sean Bolin. He is down. Is he out as he hooks that leg? One, two. No, managing to get the shoulder up at two. And now, uh oh, got a hold of him. Oh, clutch locked in. Oh, he is spread thin there. But uh oh, Sean Bolin powering his way out. Oh, taking him down right there. Now, Sean Bolin in control here. He is up. He has Wiz. Not looking good, and oh my goodness, big gut buster. Oh, now taking out one of those cybernetic arms. And here we go, one, two, only a two count, as both of their teammates get at, back out of the ring quickly as they can. Don't want to cause any interference here, get disqualified. That would not be an optimal end to this match. And here comes Sean. Bolin. What? Uh, okay. I think I own this game. Pretty sure. That's, that's, that's weird. Okay, here we go. Three. Two, one. And now here we go, Sean Bolin. Whiz. 
Uh oh, uh oh, reversal. Oh, he's down. Nice reversal by Wiz there. And now Wiz in control here. Uh oh, not a DDT. And now here we go. We got to cover. Wiz for the win. Two. Okay. Bullen able to kick out there at two. It's now Wiz uh, trying to decide what he's going to do. Grabbing a hold. Uh oh. Has him wrapped up. But uh oh, Bullen not, not letting that happen. Not letting that happen at all. Is now, oh no, big right hand firing away from Wiz there. And now, oh, a punch to the gut. Sean Bowen fighting back. Uh-oh, are we going to see it? Are we going to see an uppercut? Here we go. He's in the corner. There it is. The game attack stampede is on. And now here comes Craig. Just pounding away, Wiz, stomping him into the corner like there is no tomorrow. And now, here we go, the coup de grace here from Craig. Boom! Big time takedown, Wiz. Now Craig going for the cover. He hooks that leg. One, here comes Boomstick. Oh, able to kick out though. Now Wiz. Boomstick both in this match. And oh, Boomstick taken out. Bullen. Now Wiz and Boomstick in control of this match. Wiz a little bit tired, a little winded after what just happened. And I don't blame him. I would be too. I don't think I could move after something like that happened to me. But Craig in firm control of this match. Beautiful butterfly suplex right there. And now Sean Bowen finally back up and into the corner. Oh, Craig, goodness gracious. Now Sean, Craig both hyped up. The champs are here. Everybody should fear the Game Attack team in control here. And now we got some tag team. Uh oh, the Game Attack team takedown. Boom, Wiz is down. Could this be it? for the death battlers, but no, Sean waiting. He's not done yet. He is not done with Wiz, apparently. And now, oh, Wiz, though. A little bit smart, smarter than Sean Bolin apparently thought as he was able to reverse, and now in the territory goes Sean, enemy territory goes Sean Bolin here. And now here we go, some teamwork. The death battle beatdown incoming. Uh-oh, here comes the big boomstick kick. And boom, down goes Bolin. But Bolin is not out yet. And now the tag. In comes Craig Skipmas from Game Attack. One of the two champions here. Boomstick though. Boom, big power slam taken down Craig. In control, Boomstick now. And now, oh, elbow to the gut. Craig in control here, he's back up, but we got a reversal there. Nice there, right to the back of the head. Boomstick doing everything he can. Uh-oh, shin breaker now, boom, hits the mark. And Craig is down, but Boomstick is not done. Oh, big. Oh my goodness, those knees right to the back, right into the shoulder blades, into the spine. Holy cow. Oh, what are we gonna get here? Oh, oh no, the boomstick beat down. Here we go. And boom, there's that uppercut. Craig Skipmas is down. We got the cover. One, two, is this not it? Not it by a long shot. Craig still in this match. And there's a knee right to the face. And now Craig trying to put down Boomstick. Only getting a one count though. A little premature in that cover. And oh, there's a drop kick right to the back. Now Craig gonna stomp away at Boomstick. Craig's giving, oh, blocked. Firing back Boomstick now with that right. But we got a reversal from Craig here. Up on his shoulders, Boomstick with a elbow to the face. 
And oh, a big right hand, and again with the knees to the back. We're going for a cover here. One, two, only two count here. Still in this fight. Swing and a miss with that kick, though. And whoa, missing with the forearm to the back and into the corner goes Craig. Not looking good. Uh-oh. Another death battle beatdown coming for Craig here. Game attack team not looking good. Boomstick. And no, Craig still fighting everything he's got. Oh, not going to stomp on Wiz here. And now, whoop. Oh, just chucking him across the ring with by his head now. Obviously, his head, his skull, his brain is one of the more important things to Wiz. Not good if he injures it, that's for sure. But, oh, my goodness. Oh, the stuttering stunner from Craig. Taking out Boomstick. Oh, he's bleeding. Two. No, he manages to kick out. Luckily, Boomstick didn't need to intervene. But he uh, came in just in time. As now, oh, beautiful suplex there from Wiz. And here we go, one, two, oh, not gonna do it. And now here we go, elbows, elbows, there we are. As now you see uh, Wiz bloodied, bruised, Now, but still in control as he caught his breath back into the swing of things. And uh-oh, another beat down coming to Craig here. And now here comes the boot. And boom, down he goes. We got the cover. Here it comes. One, two. No, oh, so, so close with running away the, with the victory there. His boomstick and whiz are in here now. And boom, Wiz hits the mark. Oh, Wiz taken out. The ref, but luckily he's able to get back up. Though, uh, Sean Bolin is out on the outside here. And there is Wiz in his corner, bloody. Boomstick in the ring. Not looking good, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the arm, Craig working over the arm of Boomstick. Not looking good here. And there, Sean Bolin finally back up, making his way back to the side of the ring here. And now, uh-oh, Craig hanging. Oh, no, reversal, a knee to the top of the head from Boomstick. And oh, a belly-to-belly -belly slam taken down, Craig. And now, uh-oh, blocked, firing back with a big right. And Craig in control still, and there's a gut buster. And now, into the corner. And uh-oh, uh-oh, double team time. And the game attack team take down. Boomstick is down. Bowling for the cover. One, two, Craig taking it. Oh, only a two count as Craig tried to take out Wiz. And off the ropes, hits the mark. And Sean Bowling beating down Boomstick hard, but Boomstick with a reversal now. And oh, Boomstick fighting out of that corner. Putting Bullen in the corner instead here. But Bullen not staying in that corner. And oh, there's the spin kick from Sean. The Sean special spin kick. Boomstick is down, but not out. As we get a cover here. One, two, only a two count. Sean able to kick out. Holy cow, these two teams are giving it everything they got here. One can only imagine what's going to happen if they happen to meet for those titles here at Red versus Blue Battleground. And oh my goodness, a big slap and oh my, what is he doing? Sean with Boomstick on those ropes, climbing up. 
And oh my goodness, the knees. Oh. We got a cover. One, two, only a two count. Boomstick able to still be in this fight as Craig just kicks him on his way out. Oh, savageness from the Game Attack team champions here. And oh, drug down to the mat. As now uh, his partner still MIA is, oh, Boomstick beat down. As Wiz fights back to his feet, getting back up into his corner as we get a cover. One, two, three, that does it. Boomstick with the victory. Craig is livid. Holy cow. The Death Battlers with a victory. There you see this Sean Bullen spin kick. Uh, saw these replays play out. What an incredible match. There's a DDT from Wiz. Holy cow. There's Wiz dropping some knowledge on Sean Bolin. And there's the beat down from Boomstick right there. And there it is. There are your winners. The Death Battlers. So yes, hello, Red Guy eight three four Corhan Pond two five four six uh, Nathapon. All of you followers, welcome and thank you for being here. Welcome to the G One Wrestling Universe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody is welcome here. And I see Minami Koto has found somebody to talk about Final Fantasy XIV with. Red guy. Uh, didn't you say that? Are you a bot? You said that already earlier. So yes, up next is another promo and while this loads, well Mini doesn't really yell when it comes to Final Fantasy 14. Okay, so I need to go get something to drink, and I need to go uh, tinkle real quick. <clears throat> so while this loads, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. We are on to our next match, drummer. Or, well, not match, but whatever. <clears throat> well, you see, champ, uh, Final Fantasy XIV is a pay MMO. It is a subscription-based MMO. So... <clears throat> Unless you have money for a subscription, it's probably not for you. Thank you for the bits. Drummer, thank you for the five bits. All is welcome. So now, what do you say that I'm back? This is loaded. We get back into the action. Okay, everybody, now looks like we got uh, another G1 coming out here with, uh, not the champ, obviously, but Brandon coming out, got a microphone in his hand. wonder what he has to say here for us. <clears throat> so what do you say we give it a <coughs> uh, give him a listen? Apparently got something on his mind, so... It looks like he has called out Taylor Welch. <clears throat> All right, uh, Taylor Welch, just recent addition to the G1 Wrestling Universe. Brandon, been in the uh, ring for a while. Wonder what exactly is going to happen here. There you have it. Looks like we just saw the formation. Mm -hmm. 
of the new <laughs> new tag team. <clears throat> Well, you should, drummer. They are pretty good games. Some of them not that great, but they have a good track record of being good. everybody we are back here once again and now we got some more one-on-one -on -one action after that declaration of a new tag team joining just before RBB battlegrounds and it looks like the oh okay it looks like we got the entire game attack team coming out we got Sean we got Craig and Parker coming out it's just Parker is supposed to be going one-on-one -on -one. So, okay, well, I can, I mean, it's good that everybody here, actually, <clears throat> it's surprising that people are out here <clears throat> showing the solidarity for their teams and their stables that they have because it has actually just been announced that the uh, runners for the battleground are actually going to be none other than, is this, uh, oh my, okay, it's going to be, Okay, it's going to be Jeff and Bernie. Okay, I guess. Okay, it looks it looks here that this is saying that Jeff is going to be the one to head the red team and Bernie the blue team and see. Oh, oh dear, and oh my. Speaking of red, we got Parker's opponent coming out. And it is Misak. But yes, it appears Bernie will be heading the blue team and it appears Jeff will be heading the red team. I wonder 
that's that's crazy considering they are in a bit of a tip right now, a bit of a back and forth between them two. I wonder what kind of matches we're gonna see with those two teams headed by well those two people actually from red versus blue. This should definitely definitely be an interesting battlegrounds to say the least now. As Misak slowly and methodically making his way out to the ring. Here we go. <clears throat> Let us say it's nice uh, seeing the solidarity between everybody here before Battlegrounds. As we got the, our uh, champs coming out here with uh, Parker. Hope cheer him on. Maybe, uh-oh, what is this? Parker off the ropes and, oh, Misak taken down hard there. Holy cow. Now again, Parker quite agile going all the way up to the top already uh oh uh oh and off he goes ball oh! barely barely misses Misak getting out of the way and oh there it is Misak getting back into the swing of things here stomping away of Parker Oh, and an elbow to the top of the head. Holy cow, and now a leg drop. And now, whoa. There you see on the outside, Sean Bowling Craig getting really into this match. Happy to see Parker on top of things as again, up top he goes. And off, oh, he hits him, he's down. And whoa, Flippy oh, on top of the mark there. Parker, so far, doing everything in his power to be a dominant force in this match, but Misak fighting back hard as he can. Oh, but there's a reversal with some right hands to the face. And again, Parker, double knee takedown right there. And now, oh, grabbing a hold, trying to put Misak to sleep here. And now, oh, elbows to the gut. Now Parker off the ropes, Misak, oh man, oh, reversal though. Parker on top of the situation into a DDT now. And now, uh-oh, roll up, but no. Oh, kick to the side of the head. Misik face down into the mat now. Parker definitely maintaining a firm control in this match. Misak back to his feet. Oh, firing back with the right hand. But Parker again. Uh-oh, he's up. He's up. Uh-oh, he's cradling him. What are we going to see here? Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, he's holding on, his shoulders are down. Only a two count though, holy cow. Parker getting hyped up here. As you can see, Craig and Sean on the outside. Holy cow! He holds the legs, he's down. One, two, three, that does it. Parker with the aid and spirit of the Game Attack team behind him getting a big victory here just days before the pay-per-view. Here you see some of the replays, boom, kick right to the side of the head as you watch him drop and hear this incredible maneuver, maneuver by Parker right there, holy cow. You can only imagine what Game Attack might have in store at Battlegrounds. As now our next match, we move on to the main event. I wonder what's gonna happen there as the Game Attack team celebrate with their Game Attack team 
supporter Parker Bohan right there. Wow, gotta say, an incredible match between those two. You can only imagine what we got up next in the main event. Well, you see, we don't know yet. We know the heads of Team Red and Team Blue. Uh, Team Red is Jeff, and Team Blue is Bernie. So, and like I said at the beginning, I don't know whether or not to have like a battle royal or like a tag team elimination thing. But I guess I'll have to make up my mind soon since the pay-per-view is later this evening, later tonight. Well, I guess we'll just have to see, Drummer, but yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about, but you never know. I mean, a battle royal, battleground, it goes so well together, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's get on to the main event up in this bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we got the main event coming your way. As first coming out, we have Johnny freaking Chase, the force from up north after being called out by Woody Man earlier. They will be going one-on-one -on -one at Battleground. So now I guess Johnny Chase wanting to get in a little practice, going to take on one-on. Oh, my God, Woody Man coming out here, going to attack Johnny Chase from behind. Oh, drop kick from behind. Holy cow! Johnny Chase is down. Oh, but not out as they fight on that steel ramp. Holy cow! Woody Man trying to take out the competition before the pay per view. Johnny not letting him get a good lick in, though. As he backs away, trying to get back to the. Uh oh, but here comes Woody Man. Johnny Chase just staring him down. And now Johnny Chase fighting back. Oh man, as they fight back to the ramp now. Johnny, uh oh, no, oh, Woody just tossing him like a sack of potatoes. And now, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he's twisted him up. Oh my goodness. But no, Johnny able to fight out of that. As, oh, this uh, has had to be stopped. As we go into battlegrounds here.
<laughs> Love Mini Makoto. I, I made sure that didn't happen this time around. So you're welcome. Okay, well, <clears throat> I don't know what else to do. I mean, that's it until later this evening for the pay-per-view. I want to say thanks to everybody that followed. Thanks, uh, Silent Hero. Thanks, Shiro, for making the pay-per-view this evening, making it early. Uh, that means I need to make up my mind and make it up quick on what the heck I'm going to be doing. So as it stands, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you all later this afternoon, evening. Um, hopefully that was entertaining. You all enjoyed yourself. So again, that is it for the G1 Wrestling Universe. Thank you again, everybody, and I will see you later this evening and wow that actually uh, went longer than normal so yeah I guess that's to be expected uh, for a go home show kind of crazy ending as well so yeah again I just want to say thank you if it'll load uh, thanks for showing up here uh, Johnny Chase, Mini Makoto, Zero to Hero. Welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Drummer. Uh, Ganmer, Jukebox, Red Guy, uh, Champ, uh, Stud on River, and everybody else that's here or was here. So until later tonight, I will talk to you all later.